Now, adding it to your structure is possibly the most important and also the most overlooked part of SEO because you don't want to make articles that are going to be useless in a week. If an article is good for SEO, it needs to be useful in a year, two years, three years from now. And in order for it to keep being useful, people who are arriving to your site fresh need to be able to find it and people who are finding it need to be able to find older and future content on your site. You want to be linking to past articles that are related to the article that you're talking about. But you also might have specific pages that collect themes on your site. So for example, if we go back to my site, we can go to nanalyson.com slash fun work. And these are all the articles that I've related on finding fun work, on traveling, you know, being a digital nomad, entrepreneur. And I click them all on this page and then I link back to this page from each of these articles. And then this article links to each of these articles. So this way, somebody can go to this page and they can find all of the fun work related articles and then it creates an internal structure to the site. This is a really good way to link ideas on your site together uh, instead of just having them live in individual silos. And this helps that when one article ranks well, it can send traffic to the other articles. So have these pages that collect themes on your site. You also want to update old articles to link to new ones. So let's say that you're publishing this article on water fasting and then you have an older article on losing weight, right? You could go back to that old article on losing weight and you could add in a note that says, by the way, water fasting is a great way to lose weight in the short term. And then your old article, which might already be getting some traffic, now sends people to the new article and helps them discover it. So in this case, if we're looking here, I published a runway calculator before I published savable income, but I eventually went back to runway calculator and added a link to savable income so that people could find it. And then of course, in savable income, I linked to runway calculator. So whether somebody arrives on one or the other, they can also find the other. And this is a great way to move away from having a purely chronological aspect to your site and making it more of a web of knowledge where once one article is ranking well, it's sending traffic through to a bunch of others. The next thing you can do is link back in future articles. So as you write more articles on this topic, be sure to link back to those original ones because that will help send traffic through from the new one, especially if that new one goes viral or is insanely popular. It keeps all the content on your site fresh.